In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a, another video and have it pop up on the screen, just like this one. It's coming up right now. So here we are within the video editing software program where I have pieced together that 15 second intro that you have just watched. And if I press play, you can see me speaking, my hand goes up, the video comes in and I start speaking again on that pop-up version. So that's what this video is all about. This video is all about showing you how I piece all of these elements together. So um, in some ways, this is a little bit like the cooking show. I've already showed you the cake that's already baked and they're gonna show you how to bake the cake. So that's what I am going to do here. So. Um, let me scroll along to the side and let's do that and we can build another one here starting where my line is. Um, with video, video editing software, you drag and drop your elements into place just like I have done um, in that previous version over here on the left hand side. And the most basic way we start editing video software is we just drag the line across, we click um, the cut or the scissors, and then we delete off the part we don't want. And that's how you start editing, splicing your video and things like that. So this is the base level piece that I'm going to be utilising here. And I now need to show you how you get these pop-up versions come um, into play as well. Now, I've done it a little bit different in regard to, so you can see the pop-up, my video is playing within a mobile phone frame. So I'm gonna show you how to do um, those two type of things as well. So I've got a transparent mobile phone image, so I just drag that onto the top of that main clip. Now, what I'm looking for in the main clip, I'm looking for, for when my um, hand comes up and my finger starts to point, so about there. Uh, and that's when I want the mobile phone to pop up. So if I now press play, I'm talking and then my finger goes and there we go. Now I just need to move it over here to the side a little bit and I could make that larger if I wanted to, but that's how I start piecing that together. Now, at the moment, there's no video playing within that. So I need to bring a third layer of video and I need to plonk that on top of there as well. So let's press play again and these elements will start popping up. So I just now need to resize this part of the video within the mobile phone. So I've clicked on that and I'm going to shorten it down or zoom it in a little bit like this. And hopefully if you're watching this as a beginner, you're starting to have some aha moments. And if you're a more experienced editor, this may well be well beyond where you're at, but leave me a comment, go to the comment section below and let me know, you know your thoughts and if I'm doing something wrong because I'm always looking to learn as well. So there we go, that looks, I suppose, pretty good. You can basically see what I'm trying to do. So let's press play again to see whether it's all synced okay. That all looks pretty good. Let's just have another quick look at it. Finger comes up, pop-up comes up, and I'm speaking within the mobile phone frame. So if I slide all the way back to the original one, let's have another go at that, and let's uh, hear the video as well. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a, another video and have it pop up on the screen, just like this one. It's coming up right now. So we go, that's how simple it was to piece all of that together. That was the end result. That's the nice and smooth part that you're all gonna see in the video. Of course, I would need to tidy all of this up, but that's how simple it is to do that pop up, um, a video within a video. Um, go to the comment section below, let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you're doing something similar. I would love to hear from you guys. Any feedback, I'm always looking to continue my learning as well.